Good morning, you two. Just got back from another Craigslist deal and I picked up another bowl. This one was only 20 bucks. It's actually a bear, although it's a real cheap bear. I, it's 29 pounds, it's 54 inch ammo. It's called the Bear Bullseye, so I don't know what the hell. I think that's their introductory bowl for kids. Probably adults that aren't sure what they want to do. I think we'll use the 600 spine. Yep, 600. Traditional classic. Um, I just brought it home, and I, I did put a uh, a knocking point on, and some felt, and a little bit of leather on there. So I've never shot this bow yet. I mean, it looks like a, quite honestly, a cheap Samick Sage knockoff. So let's give it a try. Now, before you guys say, I know, yes, if I put string silencers on there, it'll quiet it down and felt up there on the on the tips but I'm not really worried about it because I'm not gonna hunt with this kind of a bow so the noise doesn't really bother me all right very first shot <laughs> pretty weak bow and she uh I don't even think it's 29 pounds, quite honestly. <laughs> Wasn't a bad shot though. That's about 18 yards from where I was at. This I'll probably hang on to for like when the grandson gets old enough, another two years or so. Get him started. felt on the tips there but shoot still not a very bad shot certainly doesn't go into let's shoot at the foam and see how far it goes into the foam See if I can hit the foam and miss the turkey that's got his butt up over the foam. There we go. That was a good shot. Bullseye it. Yeah. All that vibration noise you hear is just the string vibrating off the limb up there. So if I put the felt on there, that'll take care of that. Okay, that was a pretty good shot. Let's go back to 25 yards or 23. See if that's on the, the point on area for this bow. I could see this being a real good bow for a beginner. It's easy to shoot it's smooth and once I take care of the noise on it which I'll do after this video it'll be perfect I'm gonna do point on here and it was still way low holy cow all right so I actually had I didn't even hit the bag I was aiming at holy cow so on this shot, I was actually aiming right up there. This is, I mean, I am shooting 200 grain heads. This is a pretty heavy arrow. I'd have to, I have lighter ones in there. I'll have to try. Try one more at 20 and see what happens. 
This is probably gonna be a very short range bow here. This one I'm gonna aim at the top of the white bag. And of course I hit the top of the white bag. Huh. All right, one more shot from out there. So if I aim halfway in between, I think I'll be good. Neighbors are getting a roof put on. It's going to be making a lot of noise, which actually makes me mad because that means that that place is sold. Place has been vacant for over two years. It's been nice not having neighbors. There you go. I pulled that one a little bit to the right, but up and down was pretty dang good. Pulled it quite a bit to the right, actually. That's a good five inches to the right. So, yeah, it's a nice bow, especially for just $20. I certainly cannot complain. Uh, if I put string silencers in there, I'm not gonna get a new string for it because, I mean, it is what it is. It's a, it's a beginner bow. So, there you go probably just be taken apart maybe i'll let the girlfriend shoot see if she likes that that might be a good one to, to learn on so all right hope everybody's doing good i'll catch you on the next one turkey season's about 20 days away now so i guess i gotta start figuring out what broadheads i'm gonna shoot with that uh, bear adapt all right i'll catch you on the next one have a good day bye